and welcome back. Today on the Down Below, uh, it's in the Soda Adventure Designer. We're going to be uh, mostly volleying the ball over to Ian, who is going to talk about the mechanics of the connective tissue. If you refresh your memories, last time we talked about some of the uh, investigation that could happen, mm -hmm. and here we're going to talk about the way that you can use successes to reveal information, and what consequences failures might bring during this stage. All right, so, like Steve mentioned, we are at a connective stage of this adventure, and in investigations, the connective stages are super important because connecting the dots is what an investigation is all about. After all, you can't have the big reveals unless you have the steps to get there. So, you are basically trying to string together a breadcrumb trail of clues here that will lead the players to possibly different locations, different actions, different things that they can try to find out a little bit more and get a little bit farther. So, overall, this part of the adventure, you are trying to use up most of their successes. By the time you get to the next scene, which we're going to construct next time, which is going to be a big reveal, you want to have every character have used up about seven or eight at least of their 10 plus 1 successes. As a reminder, characters in this game get 10 traits that they start off with, and they may never grow from that because with the way that the stories go, they don't need to. I mean, you don't need to get better at guns because you can always succeed at guns once per session, and if you fail at something, then you can succeed at guns again. The plus one is that every character can have a right tool for the right job success. If you have stuff, if you have something that is not on your character sheet, that is outside your character, that makes you able to succeed in this situation, like, oh, well, you've got access to a car, and that will actually solve the problem right now, then you can succeed once for that per session. So, effectively, every character has 10 plus 1 ways to succeed, and you want to have used up seven or eight at least of everybody's successes because you want them to be feeling desperate. If they have instead failed their way forward and they haven't used up that many successes, then that can be okay because then they'll be feeling desperate because they will be in a more desperate situation. So question, you mentioned that you wanted us to use seven or eight of our successes. Is that per connective tissue overall? Or is that for connective tissue before the next big scene? That's for an investigative adventure like this before the big reveal. That's if you're doing this all in one session, before the big reveal, you should get people to near the end of their resources. So what that means is that you're going to need to give out information in dribs and drabs. Every challenge is going to only reveal a small clue. It has to be a clue that is big enough that the players feel that they're getting something, like if they succeed on a attempt to look into, well, what do these people have in common? You have to give them the truth, but you also have to, for example, let's say they use the people-watching skill to look at a whole bunch of people and identify the ones who have this reaction, you should give them, among other things, the information that those people were drinking this particular soda. However, at that point, you should also give them a whole bunch of red herrings, and it should take them additional successes to eliminate red herrings. While players can use their own skill to decide, oh, I think this is a red herring, oh, I don't think this is a clue, uh, it should take a success for the GM to straight up say, yes, by the way, you've decided that is not, you, you've realized that is not relevant. Now, failing your way forward with these portions instead is going to come up with one of several categories of consequences. Category one, coming to the attention of biodynamics as somebody who is interfering with their product trial. Players who come to the player characters who come to the attention of biodynamics are probably going to have a different kind of challenge come at them, possibly in the form of goons, possibly in the form of somebody uh, trying to affect them chemically, because 
the people who put chemicals into your food might be able to slip other kinds of chemicals that try to deal with threats to their bottom line into people's food. Another kind of failing your way forward would be having additional cases of this dropped on them. Maybe they get put into a situation where one of the people who's raging out attacks them. Mm -hmm. Maybe they get put into a situation where they find a red herring that they believe that leads them into a dangerous situation that reveals that it was a red herring so they have figured out the info now that they were wrong but only after they got into this dangerous problem situation. So those are a few ways that the players might fail their way forward in this story and overall the number of successes you want them to use. Last note is just sort of on the uh, general buy-in to this, you should probably be running this for characters who have the kind of traits that they can use to investigate things. Yeah. So you're probably looking to use up traits like computers or medical science or things that will let them investigate. But you can also use up traits like good driver so that they can get from place to place where the information is located and let players be creative for how they solve their problems. The final, final part that I'm out of time, but I should say, is we mentioned peppering this into a longer story. All of my advice so far has been about cramming this all into a single session adventure. If you want to spread this out, then instead of a seven to eight success per player track, you probably want to do a larger 50 to 100 total successes have been spent on relevant actions getting people information on this so that over the course of your long-running adventure and you can cut it down if you want it to only be revealed over the course of two to five sessions instead of over the course of five to ten but the point is have a nice big tracker where you say okay i have given these clues so that you can keep track of when the player characters should start to get certain other clues and eventually get to the big reveal. So, next time we're going to talk about that reveal. Which is not the final reveal, but it's close. Thank you for watching.